Hi there. We're going to do a bit of maintenance on a uh, little 28 Catalina GG and that's to change the um, the raw water impeller. It's been a few years and uh, I haven't done it before so I'm just going to take it apart and see what it's uh, see what it's all about. I've got a spare and hopefully it's the right one. It's winter time so it doesn't really matter. I can run and uh, get a different one if I've got the wrong product. So there's the uh, housing right there with a couple of uh, inlet and outlet uh, hoses on it. I've got to remove those, pull the pump off and uh, pull the impeller out. One of the silly things with this um, universal engine is that to change a fan belt you have to take a, uh, a hose off. Uh, when I have that hose off, if I have to take it off, I'm going to put a new belt on it and leave it um, tucked around the side so if I do blow a belt I can just quickly slip it on. I don't have to undo any hoses. So I've got to um, shut, make sure the water shut off on this engine before I start anything. Uh, this main seacock for the engine is turned off. I also installed another seacock for the PSS seal because uh, I found one time trying to drain the engine it just never stopped draining and it turns out it was back feeding the uh, water up through the um, uh, PSS shaft seal through into the uh, raw water intake so it just kept kept dribbling in there. So I've got to put a um, seacock or a um, ball valve on that to shut it off. So make sure that's shut. Uh, then I'm going to drain the uh, drain the water via the um, uh, zinc and check it uh, and see how that goes. I'm going to take this cover off and have a look in there and make remote some uh, some of the uh, heat exchangers well while I'm at it. So I've tried to uh, anticipate what tools I'll need and that sort of stuff. And I like to try and get stuff laid out ahead of time because it's hard to crawl back and forth over the engine cover to get at the tools and. Uh, sort through different tools so hopefully uh, most of what I have is ready at hand. And I've got a bucket and a sponge and a cloth and uh, ready to go starting to drain the water. So the um, a lot of the water drained we've got the heat exchanger there's a bit of zinc in there um, no bits from the uh, impeller but I would imagine if there are any they'll be on the other side. Um, <clears throat> there's the zinc, uh, which is still in good shape. Unfortunately, when you're taking this one apart and when you're putting it in, uh, the zincs are so long on this, the ones I'm buying anyway, are so long that um, in order to get them in, you have to separate the zinc, push it up into the hole, and then screw on your cap, and then screw the cap into the... Um, into the hole. It's a bit of a hassle but it uh, gets a good long zinc in there and it seems to last quite a while. Not much water in there actually. That was it. Which uh, You'd think there'd be a lot more. There's probably some hiding somewhere else but uh, we'll find out. So we've got uh, hopefully a lot of the water drained out of it. Um, Hardest part in this job, I think, is getting these darn hoses off. They've been on since new, and uh, with a hot motor, getting gooier and gooier. And um, I always find it's really difficult to get the hoses off. Some of them I end up cutting off and replacing. Hopefully, I can worry these off. Well, the uh, this hose came off uh, really quite easily. Uh, this one's loose, so I think when I pull the pump off, it should uh, shouldn't be a problem. Um, See how it goes. A little bit more water came out when I uh, broke the vacuum there. So still not a whole lot of water in the uh, in the system, which I guess maybe it just doesn't hold very much. So I got the uh, the pump off. I just worried it off uh, very gently. There's a key right there that. Uh, have to be a bit wary of and you can see where it fits in the key on the um, impeller. Uh, this came off very very easily actually so there must have been a bit of anti-seize or Vaseline on the um, the case in the, and there are no, no fins left on the fins missing from the impeller and it all looks really quite good. Uh, the only thing that did happen on this uh, particular procedure was on 
the um, put that down on one of the hoses. One of the wires has come out of the uh, the hose. This hose is done, and it was leaking a tiny bit. So I'll replace that hose. This hose came off uh, very easily and and seems to be in reasonably good shape. So we'll um, we'll leave that one. Uh, so now I got to get the propeller out of the <coughs> impeller out of here. Match it up with the new one I bought, put the new one in uh, with a new O-ring and uh, slap it back together. It wasn't really that difficult. It was actually came off pretty easy. I've heard nightmares of people pulling this shaft right out and then having to take the whole thing apart and realign it back up and try and get it set up properly, which apparently can be a bit of a nightmare, but uh, I just kind of gently wiggled it off and it, it popped off okay. Well, believe it or not, I've actually got the right impeller. And there it is there. New one, old one. And they give you an extra O-ring, which I guess is handy for the next time if you're just going to check or pull something out of it. So we'll keep one of those spare. Uh, this one, see there's a crack. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a crack there. It's kind of stiff. This one's, well, this one's actually very stiff, but... Um, uh, no cracks. So I guess it was time that this this one came out, which is uh, which is good. So we'll uh, uh, this will go on the shaft first, and then I have to kind of get this on there when I get it back uh, back together. I'll coat uh, coat everything with a bit of Vaseline and uh, clean. I won't touch any of this. This is nicely polished, but I'll clean up a bit of this and uh, put some Vaseline on the O-ring and uh, uh, way back together it goes. So I've cleaned off the uh, <clears throat> pump housing, got the groove nice and clean. This is really uh, important for any O-ring that you put on. You've got to make sure that that surface is clean. I'm going to put some Vaseline in there, a bit of Vaseline on here and in here so uh, when we start the pump, it's not going to run dry and tear against the um, the surface. There, it just gives it a bit of a bit of a lube to get going. Uh, it'll wash away pretty quickly. Uh, so that's basically it for that part. So we got the um, O-ring in there with lots of Vaseline. I've coated the lightly with the whole insides of the, the unit. Uh, we've got the impeller ready to go on the shaft. I put some Lana coat on that to. Uh, facilitated coming off easily the next time. It looks like that's what was on here before. Uh, so now it's just a matter of putting the pump back on and uh, um, see how that goes. Okay, uh, cleaned up the face of the pump with a bit of 1200 grit sandpaper and give it a good polish and cleaned up all the old uh, little bit of corrosion on it and um, leftover goo. So it's uh, Pretty smooth, ready to accept a bit of Vaseline and um, put the pump back together. So there's the uh, impeller back on. Now I've got to put the uh, the cover on with uh, mashing the blades and trying to get them in the right orientation. Okay, well there's a lesson learned. You can't uh, can't do it while it's on the housing. You have to do it while it's in here and then uh, worry it into the housing somehow. Um, it's just basically impossible to do it the other way around. So this is in here, ready to go. All the pumps back on, and really what a pain in the neck. Uh, trying to get these screws in behind here. It's a really stupid design. Um, why there isn't a cap on the front here where you can pull everything off, like most other boats, I have no idea. But it is difficult to get these screws back in, and I'm glad I've practiced here. Uh, it'd be tough to do... Uh, while sailing, and it would be really tough to do while bouncing around uh, at anchor. Finished uh, replacing the impeller and cleaning out the heat exchanger, and there is a lot more water coming out now. See that there? It's uh, much more than one before. It was a constant spray before, now it's just exalted. That 1500 RPM in reverse at the dock. 